Hello my soccer universe. The international break is upon us and at first I thought oh this is only high profile friendlies but you know friendlies I really don't like all that much because they don't tell you anything. I, at least for me as a watcher I think if you're a coach yes they might tell you a little bit more but they don't tell me a whole lot more especially when they're not competitive and then after a while it really gets uh, so and so. So I thought about that and then it came to me, oh yeah, but there are also the playoffs. That excites me. And we have the playoff semifinals coming up this Thursday. We'll talk about those in a little bit. And then we have the finals coming up uh, the Tuesday thereafter. So there's actually ample of time in between these. And they will, of course, decide the final three nations that will be part of Euro 2024 in Germany. Uh, and before we look into the ties uh, in particular, I roll out here the group stage draw again. I don't know which team goes where. We have playoff path A will go in a group with France, Austria and Netherlands. And in that path we have Wales, Finland, Poland and Estonia. So that is already a tough group and it could be even tougher. Being from Austria, you know. We have uh, Group E. We'll get the winner of Playoff Path B, which is Bosnia, Ukraine, Israel, and uh, of course Iceland. And then in Group F, so it's the last three groups, they get uh, the winner of the Playoff Path C, which is on paper the lowest one. Although, you know, there's Greece in there, but we have also Georgia, Luxembourg, and Kazakhstan in there. So uh, that might actually spice up this group a teeny little bit. And we already had the playoff draw. I think I made at least a short video about it. And let's go path by path uh, what the matchups are. We'll start with uh, path A. Nominally that's the best one, although you know there's also League D being thrown in there with Estonia having one League D. So we have First one is Wales, Finland. Wales again enjoying a very favorable draw. They already had it for the World Cup at only the home games. Now they have it also for the Euros. Uh, Wales host Finland. They are big favorites there and they should move on to the final where they most likely will meet Poland who got the easiest draw of them all by virtue of actually uh, being the best uh, team from Group A uh, in there. And so they will host Estonia but then they would have to go to Wales. Uh, looking into Group D and the two games of those are played in Berlin and Poland, relatively close to Berlin, I think that would add a whole lot of fans there to the France, Austria, Netherlands group. Uh, all nations except probably for France that bring a lot of fans. So uh, this will probably be the most exciting group, but even Wales will bring a ton of fans. So if it's really between Wales and Poland, I think this will make Group D uh, a true group of death, I would assume. In Group B, I think, uh, first off, not before I think, uh, Ukraine and Israel, of course, are two teams that play on neutral ground. So uh, they cannot, I mean, uh, Ukraine, I think, play in Poland and uh, Israel will play in Hungary. Ukraine will have a little bit more of a home support and I have... Um, taking uh, care of that in my cal calculations as well. I gave them a half home field ad advantage, whereas Israel does not receive any home field advantage. Uh, that might come into play. I mean, Israel already will host Iceland in Hungary, which makes this a very, very tight matchup. I mean, the thought of Israel, I, mean, I think they already have qualified for League A, which is crazy if you think, think about it. Uh, Israel having a good chance for the Euros, that is something that no one would, would, would have expected. Bosnia, a national team that has probably a lot of talent but is very mismanaged, uh, will host Ukraine. Personally, I think Ukraine is, the, and we see it also in the ratings, the strongest team in these playoffs and I would love for them to move on to the Euros. They also would make this group between Belgium, Romania and Slovakia a whole lot more exciting. Uh, Ukraine is slightly favored thanks to home field advantage. Otherwise, if it would be reversed, Ukraine would be huge favorite, slightly favored over Bosnia and they're definitely favored over whoever comes out of the second tie. Uh, between uh, Israel and Iceland. I have a feeling that Israel can do this. Iceland have also a little bit on the skids, but uh, I think Ukraine should be the team coming out of that one. And then probably the spiciest one is the sea path where Georgia is hosting Luxembourg. And remember the last Euros, Georgia also hosted two home games. They hosted the final 
against Northern Macedonia that they lost at home. Back then, we didn't know much about Georgia. Now we know that they have a real superstar in Kvitscha Kvaskelia uh, in there. So um, that might add some star power. Um, Georgia, of course, are favorites over Luxembourg. Luxembourg, a national team that has been growing, growing, growing steadily. They threw almost away qualification uh, in favor of Slovakia uh, in the last, last stages. If they would have won their home home game, it would have been meant that uh, we, Luxembourg would have already been qualified. So don't underestimate Luxembourg there. Still with home, home field advantage, I would give it to Georgia there. And Greece should beat Kazakhstan. I mean, this Kazakhstan, yes, they have beaten Denmark and they have given a good account, but mostly in home games. In away games, Kazakhstan have not been a great. I mean, it's a huge travel. It's mostly teams from the uh, mostly players from the Kazakh league that adds in addition to it. So uh, we gotta see how this goes. But I would expect Greece and Georgia to move on, and then in Tbilisi we get Georgia against Greece in that final. I think that should be a toss up. More or less, I think Greece are the slightly better team overall. They have the better players, but you know, with home field advantage, who knows? Who knows? Overall, you see in the green column the chances for qualifying. Uh, we see in League A, we have Wales and Poland, 38 and 37 percent are the favorites, but it is a toss up between those two. Ukraine, 33 percent, and then it's relatively even between uh, Israel and Bosnia, but Ukraine is the Maybe not the clear favorite, but is the favorite here. And then it's also a toss-up between Georgia and Greece. Um, the matches will be played, as I said, on Thursday. We have first Georgia against Luxembourg. I think this is a sleeper match. I mean, yes, I know it doesn't sound exciting. But if you like competitive stuff, that is definitely one to watch. And then I probably have my eye on Bosnia against Ukraine and uh, potentially Wales, Finland. Those are my two picks if I can double screen. Uh, I hope they will have something where I can where they switch back and forth. And then we have the files all being played at the same time as far as I remember uh, the upcoming Tuesday. And while we're at it, let's look also at the overall favorites for Euro 2024. Not much has changed. It's France and England. Spain and Portugal are in there as well. So uh, don't forget about them. Uh, and then we have uh, Germany, Belgium, Netherlands, Italy. Um, I think when we get to Netherlands and Italy, we're talking already outsiders. But overall, not many changes have been made. Just as an addendum, uh, during the international break, I will only make review videos on the playoff games. I will not talk much about the friend list, maybe in a short video, but you will get a lot of short videos. I have quite a few unpackings uh, that are in there and probably I will, maybe I am planning to react on what has been now released recently because there's some interesting shorts in there as well. So yeah, let me know who you think will make it to the final. Uh, to the finals, I should say, of the three uh, play from the three playoff pass. That would be in interesting. In any case, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And I will talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.